include everything. All right, guys. So last time we got the status of Free Code Camp, if they were online or offline. What we want to do in this video is we just want to get the followers. Now, in the example, they give you an array to check. We're gonna do it a little bit different because I don't, I I don't know. I think that's kind of a punk way to to go out. <laughs> I think we can do better than that. So uh, let's go ahead and showcase the URL before we get started and see what sort of info that we're gonna get. Let's get out of the page here. Just gonna throw it up in the browser. So this is gonna give us all the follower info. It's an array that takes in a bunch of information about the people that Free Code Camp follows. Now the information that we want is going to be under channel. Where is that? Channel right here. And from channel we want to go to display name. So channel follows i dot channel dot display name. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna do a git JSON call to that URL. That's how we're gonna start off. Say dot get JSON, and then on that we want to go ahead and just put our we'll say uh, our follower URL, and you don't have to do it like this. You can you can obviously um, just put the URL. In there. This is just a preference thing. Um, it may even be worse doing it this way. I'm not really quite sure because we're creating a a variable for something we're using one time. We'll go ahead and call this data2 since we already have a data1. Okay, so let's go ahead and console.log data2, make sure everything's working as we check our work like so. And it's working, it's too big for this browser, perfect. That means it's working. Um, otherwise nothing would display. Next what we want to do is we want to iterate through the array and then get the display name from the followers. Now the reason that we're doing this is the display name is the same thing that will go in the URL that we're gonna check later on so that we can get all of their information. So we'll just do a little thing like this. We'll say, uh, we'll do a for loop. For our i is equal to zero, while i is less than data dot follows our array dot length and then we'll do an i plus plus so there's our for loop oh excuse me this is data two dot follows now from here all we want to do is push out the display name again you don't have to create a variable I just happen to do it because I know when people are starting out um, it makes life a little bit easier for them to kind of see what it is that that you're doing. Um, so, especially if the, you try to look back at it, you're like, oh, this is obviously the display name because I have it named display name. There's no confusion. So this is our display name. So let's go ahead and console.log this out, make sure it's working. And we'll go ahead and display name. And you'll see we're getting all the display names. Very cool. Now, if you remember correctly, uh, I said we wanted to store this into an array. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Go ahead and clear our data. So what I did was I just created a simple array at the top here. I believe I called it following. Uh, let me call it, yeah, following works. We'll save our following. So you create an empty array and all we wanna do is following dot push display name and because we're paranoid and we want, like to check all of our code we cons we're gonna app actually after the fact we'll console.log this out so that's our for loop no this is our for loop so outside our for loop we're gonna console.log out following make sure we got everything we needed once we did that, let's go ahead and, oops, wrong one. There's our following array, very nice. Now in our get JSON here, we can go ahead and push our values to it as well. So if you remember correctly, we had a, 
we had three people that we needed to push to the array. Um, the reason for it is they had unique cases where they either didn't exist or we need somebody that was online all the time uh, just so we could test our code. So we're just going to go ahead and following dot push three people. We're going we're gonna to push the user comster 404. This guy doesn't exist. We're going to push the user Bruno Finn, who doesn't exist. And we're going to push the use. Uh, the display name, I should say, ESL underscore SC2. At the time, I believe these guys were always online, and that's why they were added. So um, we can go ahead and console.log that out as well, just to check, because now we should have everybody in our following array. And there we are right here. Very nice. So that's how we're going to get the followers. Up next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this array that we've just created from uh, their followers, and then we're going to run a git JSON that is going to get all of these, all of their information using a for loop on that git JSON, and then we'll we'll return the the logo, the display name, and the status, and all that sort of good stuff. So as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. My good friend Matt at Engineered Truth has a three-part interview with Quincy Larson, the founder of Free Code Camp. Go ahead and check that out and you'll get a lot of really cool stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.